Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 75 of FTB Interactions, where I've got a little bit of radon. It looks like a lot, but it's a gas, so it fills up the container all the way. Uh, hey, what's up? I've got some radon chicken eggs. Uh, so last episode we got our radon chicken cooking. I decided to just drop... I, I was thinking about, like, how do I want to do this? Do I want to make this a tank that just makes it available? Or, like, how do I want to do the whole radon thing? And I, I settled on, we'll just do the tank thing. Um, is my base a mess? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit of a mess. But it's, you know, it's... It's... I don't have I don't I, there's not I don't have an end to that sentence. It's definitely a mess. So anyway, we can clear off all this stuff. We can clear off all that. Oh, actually, we have a lot to clear off. Um, so let's see where are we at questing wise. We are going through the space quests. Our next goal is to get an improved Ender Eye, uh, which is made in a chemical bath with some radon, and that thing is going to be used to make draconic cores among other things. Um, oh, he can actually summon. Ender chickens? That sounds terrifying. Isn't that like the big boss mod? What else can we get from this? Climbing nightshade from plants and a ring from actually additions. Hey, that's kind of cool. Need Ventium for that one though too. Uh, assembler, he can make the field generator HV among other things. Ooh, this gets me into flux cores. That's neat. What else do we need here? Skystone plate and flux and destabilize redstone. Neato. I'm wondering if this is like the gateway to RF or the Flux Networks mod, that's kind of cool. Where's Flux come from? A mixer of Infinity Dust, Flux Crystal, and Platinum Dust. Liquid Antimatter. <laughs> I have no idea how to make that stuff, but it's neat looking, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, and that will get me an improved Ender Eye. Quantum Eye. I wonder if there's, is there a difference? Nope, nope it's, that's what it is. So anyway, we need an Eye of Ender and 288 millibuckets of Radon. So let's just manually make one of these real quick. Um, what I can do is snag my reservoir. Hey, go down here. Snag a little bit of this stuff. Uh, do we have enough, by the way? We do, 350, nice. And my Eye of Ender is cooking, cooking, cooking on its way over here, hopefully. Let's go, Eye of Ender, come on. Thank you. And that was made in where again? Chemical bath. HV chemical bath. Do we have one of those that's not already full of fluids? Chemical reactor. Chemical bath mark two. That'll do. Ding. So if I wanted to teach this thing, it would be quite easy to just, you know, add it to the crafting list. Nice, right? Hey, that's that's going to be actually really simple to automate if we need many of these, which we may or may not. I don't know yet. I'm assuming we will. I think that's a fair assumption that we will probably need a lot of these. Um, so I will get it added to the to the auto crafter here in a moment once we decide that that's actually true. Hey, quest complete! Booyah! Gets me another one of them. Yay! And now we're on diffusing worlds. And apparently that did an HV chemistry guy. Hey, look at that! Radon is a fairly simple process of that. Blah 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 blah. Sweet. Hey, a thousand mill buckets. That's cool. Bing. Okay. So go ahead and sort this stuff. Don't really need food anymore. <laughs> I don't need food anymore, which is awesome. Phenomena. That was a mana glass quest. Okay, cool. We can close that out. And now back to the space quest. So next major objective for us is fusing worlds. So we're going to need one of these, and we're going to need... How many of these? We're going to need eight of these. Okay. So we need crystal matrix ingots. We need draconic cores. Uh, and we need an HV casing and some resident ender. That stuff shouldn't be a problem. Um, takes a while to make this in an HV assembler. Just going to have to tick accelerate with batteries. Not a big deal. And then you need some lapis blocks, some diamonds, and a draconic core. I don't even know if I have the appropriate amount of lapis for this. Um, is Lapis one of the things we're getting up on our space station? I'm assuming not. Uh, we've got three Lapis ore here. We've got, oh, a stack of Lapis ore. Oh my, how exciting. Uh, maybe I should run this through the whole process all the things downstairs and that would get me like the most Lapis. Because if I process you, actually you can dense Lapis? Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, we're totally gonna do that. Just because I'm lazy and don't like mining. That's all it is. 
Yeah, let's 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 dense this and then let's, you know, this guy it. Speaking of, can I get to the next tier of ore whatever ring? Uh, where's that quest line that explains all the ore processing? Wasn't there one of them? Where is it? Chickens, electrical, party equipment, supply chain, main progression, energy. Where was that set of quests that like showed you the, you can, you know, or double and or triple and or quadruple and all that stuff? Is this it? This is it. This is what I was looking for. Okay, cool. So the next thing, if 8x is octuple, right? Um, sweet. Blazing plasma arc furnaces are good for you, trust me. Oh, so we just need some blazing pyrothium? That's not too bad, I don't think. And an arc furnace? That, that would be cool. And that'll get me iron crystals, which then smelt into 8x. So that's neato. Um, and then beyond that, we can get iron ore pumps. And that gets me an energy condenser as a reward, which is pretty cool. Well, not so cool, because most things don't really have uh, EMC in this pack, but that needs UU matter. Okay, good to know. All right, I was just curious. All right, let me get this, you know, lapis up, and we'll be back. All right, guys, processing a bunch of lapis dust down in the basement. Um, gonna let it run like I generally do, just kind of like leave it down there. It runs for a while while I'm working on other things. Um, so I know I need the four blocks of lapis to get that going. Now you needed some stuff that I didn't quite look into how to make yet. Draconic cores, I need um, this tier of processor, right? Along with the improved ender eye. Uh, I'm thinking I should I should set up the auto crafting on this. That's item disassembly. We don't want that. So yeah, let's maybe let's maybe get the auto processing going here. Where's that chemical bath? So let me start by grabbing all my crafting logistics pipes and crafting modules and fluid crafting modules and all that fun stuff. And I might need a few of these things too, so we better be handy and ready. All right, chemical bath. You're gonna get the recipe for the ender eye. So you're gonna say. Um, the improved Ender Eye is made with an Eye of Ender and 288 Radon, right? HV Chemical Bath, Radon, two eighty eight. Perfect. Cool. Uh, and then down here, we're going to want another crafting module set up. And I still haven't figured out exactly how I want to do this whole shebang down here. It's kind of a... Why are there fluid seeds down here? Does that make sense to anybody? No. No, it does not. I mean, I guess I could just keep, you know, down here, right? this works. Cool. And then you go here and you're going to make uh, the draconic core, right? That'll be your job. Um, that's it. That's, it's made in here. That's all there is to it. Easy peasy. Cool. And then I guess we should also teach the wire mills how to do um, the titanium wires, right? So we want Titanium ingots go in, titanium wires come out. There it is. And I think it's two to one, right? I just wanna make sure that's the same for titanium. That's generally what it is. Uh, and then this guy is gonna be one of these wires turned into four of the wire coil things, right? Yes, cool. Beautiful. Yep, no idea why there were random fluid seeds sitting on the ground down there. They may have been down there forever. Who knows? All right, cool. So now, if we wanted to make draconic cores, I assume the thing that I'm missing is some nanoprocessor assemblies and some blaze. Okay, not a big deal. Uh, now, we do have bla pristine blaze matter. What do they turn into? Pristine blaze matter turns into 64 blaze powder. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make sure that we don't run out of blaze powder for a while. 
There you go. Lots of blaze powder that we don't have to worry about no more. Now, the next thing we have to worry about, though, is the processors. So let's take a look at that in the progression path. There's the circuit one here. So we're currently at the HV age. I could be making nanoprocessors, right? Um, if I wanted to, I guess. Are those... They're a little bit cheaper? A little bit cheaper. Okay. Uh, to make that. So I could be replacing my processor assemblies with nanoprocessors if I wanted to. Uh, however, now that we're at the EV age, right, uh, we have access to the nanoprocessor assembly, presumably. Um, you need, um, how do you get made? So you need nanoprocessors. So we need to learn how to make nanoprocessors and how to make nanoprocessor assemblies. Cool. Good to know. All right. So let's look at nanoprocessors first. Uh, these things we know how to make, this we know how to make, epoxy circuit boards, I don't know if we have, and nano CPUs. Do we have either of those? No. Um, and then epoxy, same deal, right? So that's going to be like the big new craft piece, right? And then molten tin. Um, what was, uh, what was this made with? That's made with, okay, cool, molten tin as well. Nice. All right, so nanoprocessors just need these two things. Uh, and then to get the nanoprocessor assembly, Electrum, small coil, SMD, RAM, nanoprocessor, and circuit board and tin. All right, do we have RAM? I think we have RAM. We do have RAM. Perfect. So these two components are what's needed to make uh, these guys. All right, so we need a copper foil and an epoxy resin sheet. And that is made with epoxy resin. Seems pretty straightforward, which is made with sodium hydroxide dust, bisphenol A, and epic chlorohydrin. <laughs> or nitrogen dioxide, naphtha, and epic chlorohydrin. <laughs> words. Look at all the words we've got, guys. We've got a lot of words here. Lots and lots of words. I'm just going to peek. Just gonna peek around to see if there's an easier, less painful looking recipe. Well, good news is we have a thousand sodium hydroxide dust. So that's one piece of this puzzle. Bisphenol A and epichlorohydrin. Do we have epichlorohydrin? I don't have any idea. All right, so I think the path to epoxy is as follows, if I'm not mistaken, right? So we need epoxy resin sheets, which are made in a fluid solidifier with epoxy resin. Epoxy resin comes from a chemical reactor. The, 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 the easiest path, I think, uh, from what I'm being told, is epichlorohydrin, naphtha, which we already have, and nitrogen dioxide, right? We already have naphtha, don't we? Like, pretty good on naphtha? I don't know. That's what this stuff is, right? One of these guys is making a bunch of naphtha. And you're still cooking up a lot of diesel. But yes, naphtha is a thing that's being made over here-ish. One of these guys is being kept stocked with naphtha. Can you tell I expanded this at some point? It was a few episodes back, I think I did it. It's still diesel. Man, yeah, look at that, sulfuric naphtha, oof. Yeah, we are, we are definitely doing a lot of uh, more diesel than anything else, um, but that's fine. So we need naphtha instead of sulfuric naphtha? Is that is that a different type of naphtha? Yes. That comes from hydrogen. Okay. Oh, so much stuff. What I might do, what I might do, um, is turn off the naphtha fuel source for a bit so that naphtha can build up in my thingy up there, in my refinery. That might be cool, right? So we could just like turn off naphtha here and that might be a smart move. Um, Cause we've got so much diesel. That's really what you get a lot of, obviously. Um, yeah, it might be a good call. All right, let me start planning out all the machines I'm going to need for this. All right, guys, so I sat down and did all the math. I think I need like five or six or seven chemical reactor HVs. Sure. Let's go with seven of them. Seems like a lot, but okay. Uh, and then I need a couple fluid extractors. So the process is as follows. Uh, we need to get naphtha by combining the sulfuric naphtha that we get from the refinery with hydrogen, which we already have. So that's cool. 
right? We need epichlorohydrin, uh, epichlorohydrin. Yes, that's I said that pretty good. Uh, which needs hydrochloric acid, which is hydrogen and chlorine. We have both, right? We already have both of those covered. And glycerol, which comes from tiny pile of sodium hydroxide dust, which we have a lot of. Seed oil, which comes from just squeezing any seeds, so easy. Uh, and ethanol, which we already have, right? So we need to get the seed oil and that, right? So that's epichlorohydrin, not a terrible recipe right there. Uh, and then finally, the last piece of this here puzzle, epichlorohydrin, naphtha, uh, is nitrogen dioxide, which is a combination of nitrogen and oxygen. So not terrible either. So realistically, it looks like a lot, but it's only about six or seven chemical reactor worth of combinations. And that will get me everything I need for the epoxy resin sheet, which will allow me to get to the next tier of... Um, of, of processors, which should be kind of nice. Cool? Cool. All right, so give me a few minutes. What I'm gonna do is craft all the things I need to make this, and then we'll start putting it together. All right, guys, getting close. Uh, so we're waiting on some more stainless steel for our HV machine holes. And I should run glass, is that what's happening here? It looks like it. Can I just request 20 glass, please? I mean, I did hit the, the plus sign thingy, so I should have gotten glass, but eh, it's all good. It's all right, it's all right. So I'll make the three that I can and we'll get started, right? Uh, so I've got my Signalum cables here, right? So we know we're gonna need a lot of these. Okay, and then we're also gonna need a bunch of fluid kind of pipes, right? So let's get some fluid provider pipes. I don't know, let's get like 10 of them. And fluid supplier pipes, we got like 10 of you. Missing 13 iron? Really, I'm short on iron of all things? Whew. That's, uh, I guess surprising. I guess surprising. I guess that's surprising. Uh, I don't have any iron handy to smelt up down here. Yeah, well, we'll just do our thing. Well, the good news is, in that time, my advanced chemical reactor is kind of finished, so I got some more of those. Now, supplier pipes, let's see. You coming down here, we got some impure pile of iron coming along. Should be close, 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 close to what we need. Uh, impure pile we can smelt directly, as a reminder, so that's cool. And I got some other metals to clean up in here. How much did it say I was missing? 13 iron ingots. Well, close. There we go. That should be enough now to request about 10 fluid providers, which probably don't need that many, right? Fluid suppliers, let's get like five of them. There they are. Thank you, and back in a few. Just in case anybody, in case anybody doubts how much legit off-camera work I'm doing, look at my time in a bottle. I'm out of time in my time in a bottle. I've run out of time in a bottle time. That's not good. That's bad. That's very bad. Somebody's going to leave his computer on overnight. It's me. All right, so let's start with the seed oil bit. I'm going to... How am I for seeds at the moment? Probably not great. Actually, not too bad. I can probably... Let me just snag like a stack of them. We'll, we'll, we'll add a supplier module to this thing at some point soonish. But for now, we're just going to get the basics up and running. And did I bring my wrench down here? I don't know if I did, but we're going to have a lot of... Um, pumps and wrenching and all that good stuff to make sure that this goes as smoothly as possible, right? So you're going to, and do you have an extractor back here? Yeah, let's make sure that you're doing nothing, right? So on the west, you're going to do nothing. Insert or extract for that matter. Um, perfect. So advanced fluid extractor, you start extracting seeds into seed oil, which is nice and quick. Thank you. Um, and then your side extract will be this side and you will auto output fluids to the right. Cool. Now we combine that with ethanol. Well, we're gonna need a lot of seed oil, like 6,000 millibuckets of seed oil. Uh, so this chemical reactor is going to need the seed oil that we're making here with ethanol and tiny pile of sodium hydroxide dust. Cool. So you're gonna go there and you get some of the seed oil, but wow, do you need a lot of seeds. Like, wow, do you need a lot of seeds. Like, wow, do you need a lot of seeds. Um, so like, another cool trick to making lots of seeds. 
There's smart chickens. It's a quest. Oh, yeah. Phytogenic insulator. Uh, I guess I could go that route. I don't love it, though. I don't love it. Um, I mean, I obviously have a lot. I wouldn't mind just, like, getting the ball rolling with this stuff. And just, you know. But you need basically, like, ten stacks of seeds here, basically. Which is a lot. It's a lot of seeds. But then also we need... And you know what I should get is my... I should get a chisel and my logistics chassis dudes. I'm going to put you guys away for the time being. That should be good. Yeah. And let me get myself a chisel. And something tells me I'm going to need a few more modules. So let me request like 32 of those. Get that crafting while we're waiting. Uh, item sync modules times 32. Great. That was successful. And are items flowing? Yes. Oh, I gotta check that items are flowing, because every now and then, like I said, that pipe gets, like, derpy, and I gotta break and replace it, and as soon as I break and replace it, everything behaves. It just, it just all of a sudden gets stuck, and then nothing extracts until we're done, right? So that's uh, absolutely a thing that happens, and it kind of stinks, but whatever. So here, you're going to do uh, two things, right? Logistics Fluid Provider. Um, so you're gonna come in here... Let's make the chassis pipe in the back, if I may. And you're gonna get a active supplier. Okay, and this is the glycerol one, so you need sodium hydroxide dust. Tiny pile of sodium hydroxide dust. Sodium hydroxide dust we'll say keep 16 in there is that fairish i think so um and then what we could have here is maybe like a basic logistics pipe no the basic will have to go here and we'll have an unrouted here cool and then you are going to get the fluid supplier pipe and your job will be to keep ethanol four thousand does that sound good partial yes and that ethanol should come from right back there ish i think i think unless that's the wrong ethanol that's greg tech's ethanol Hey, look, there it is, 4,000 ethanol. Cool, seed oil. And now I just need to give them um, some sodium hydroxide dust. So is that in here? Sodium hydroxide dust? Yeah, it is. To do, make a crafting recipe for that. But that should at least satisfy that thing's needs, right? And then we'll throw another stack in there while we're waiting. Now this, uh, we're going to wrench it so that he outputs to the right. Right, so his output side is that, and that should be making glycerol, okay? Once we have enough seed oil, at least. Which I should get a few more buckets of seeds, just because I want to at least have the pieces here, right? Um, will we come up with more seed stuff? Yes, eventually. Gotta go outside and farm a little bit or something. Yeah, once we have enough seed oil to carry us through... So I'll, I'll probably throw like a keep in stock seeds thing here, but we'll do that in a, in a little bit. Once I have figured out how I'm going to automate seeds, right? Because that's really what it comes down to. I don't think there was another good way to make this glycerol. Pretty much everything needed it, except we could do fish oil, but that's not super great. Um, or water and fish oil, or water and seed oil. But that makes like less, which stinks-ish. Um, so, yeah... So I guess, hold on a sec. Let's look at this. If I want glycerol, right, because that's what I want, it's ethanol and seed oil, right? Or we could do water and seed oil for glycerol. Ooh, that only needs 500 millibuckets of... Oh, well, that's a lot better, isn't it? We should do water. We shouldn't, we shouldn't do, we shouldn't do... Hold on, we should do water. That's what we should do. We should keep in stock 
water, not ethanol. Right? That's a lot better, I think. I believe that to be true. Let's just void this ethanol real quick. Because that'll use far less seed oil and only produce glycerol, so it means we don't need to void the, the excess junk. Wow, how are you what now? This is HV line. How are you out of power? Wow, you are out of power. Holy cow. You know what I probably bet happened? Uh, my sulfuric naphtha is probably backstuffing. I bet I would bet you my sulfuric naphtha is backstuffing, and as a result, we are probably low on power. Yeah, see it was backstuffing, so we ran out of diesel and other things, because sulfuric naphtha backstuffed. Yep, that would do it. Think I can do that? I can. Beautiful. Well, at least I have a little sulfuric naphtha for our test stuff that we're going to do here. But that'll get me power up and running again. Whoops, dire derps. Whoops, dire derps. All right. So now we've got glycerol cooking, a lot more efficient, so that's nice. So we're knocking that off the list, right? Now, did glycerol come into play here? No, glycerol is used to make epichlorogen, right? Yes. Glycerol makes epichlorogen, okay. And then a byproduct is water, which stinks, but what are you gonna do, right? So glycerol plus hydrochloric acid, okay. So you're making glycerol, right? So let's make this be one of them, okay? And you should auto output fluids, right? So now we need to get hydrochloric acid into you. Now hydrochloric acid comes from uh, hydrogen and chlorine makes hydrochloric acid. So that we will put here with an output to this side, okay? And then we want logistics fluid supplier times two on you. Okay. Uh, no, you need to be a basic because you are a junction. Cool. All right, so you're going to do hydrogen and chlorine, right? Is what we said. Chlorine and hydrogen. So chlorine bucket, 6,000. Hydrogen bucket. Now remember, sometimes it gets a little derpy if you try to do this, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully it'll work. So there's your chlorine, and there's your hydrogen, hydrochloric acid, nice. And we dump that into there, and then you should start working, and you're going to be a fluid provider pipe uh, in the back. So what I should be able to do actually is I'm gonna break you and do this. And now you're going to provide the epichlorogen. And we should get a fluid trash can so that we can void the water that we don't need. Fluid trash can. Now let's see if somebody gummed up. Because I feel like somebody gummed up. Uh, maybe not. Somebody's gummed up somewhere. I'll figure it out. Yeah, every now and then he gets gummy. He gets a little gummed up. It's a bummer. Did somebody get stuck here? Oh, you're doing a lot of work. I think he's just waiting for things. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, that was my fault. That was my fault. I did that. I take responsibility for those two things being in there. I was being impatient with some other crafts. All right, so now uh, fluid trash can. That's right, I was crafting. Please and thank you. Uh, and ender fluid conduits. So let's get a basic fluid filter and ender fluid conduits, which hopefully are craftable at this point for me. Is that something that's craftable? Yeah, it seems pretty good. I think I've got ender alloys on the autocraft. So we'll see if we need more than three of them for this setup. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so you're making excess something. Oh, okay. Did he, did somebody request his water? Yeah, no, this is the guy making water, right? Epichlorogen. 
Yes. So let's make sure that this, this down will be an insert with water. Cool. Water, whitelist, cool. And then east will be extract, always active. And then he should only be extracting water, which is fine. Now, are we low on salt again? Is that what's happening over here? Some chlorine comes from salt. Yeah, I think it does. Are we really low on salt? I guess so. I'm going to have to go get salt again. It's all right. It's enough to get started. All right, so then epichlorogen is done. Hydrochloric acid is done, right? So then we just need the naphtha which is sulfuric naphtha and hydrogen, and a lot of sulfuric naphtha for that matter. Um, so let's remove you guys again, because these guys are probably filling back up in battery while, yeah, they're good. And so let's see about being smart here. So we're gonna want, let's do, Sulfuric naphtha first, how's that sound? Hydrogen sulfide and naphtha. Yeah, so let's do our chemical reactor here where you're gonna do just like this guy did. You're gonna have two fluid suppliers, boop and boop. And you're going to be sulfuric naphtha and hydrogen. Sulfuric naphtha. And remember you need 12,000, so let's just do like 24,000 in here, right? Partial yes. And hydrogen, we'll do like 10-ish. Does that sound cool? I think that should be cool. So then they should start requesting and they will give me a bunch of hydrogen and he'll give me what sulfuric nap that he can, I think. I think. And then you are going to make as a side effect Hydrogen sulfide, hydrogen sulfide. So you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna extract and on the down, we're gonna filter this hydrogen sulfide. And maybe I'll regret voiding that. I don't know, we'll find out. So sulfuric naphtha, let's go. Partial yes, min mode, one bucket. Oh, he needs one full bucket in order to send it over here. So let's see how our sulfuric naphtha looks. Why are you idling? Don't tell me we're out of oil. I haven't visited my oil field since, I mean, I guess I set it up a million years ago. So we're either out of oil or we're out of something that we need to make oil. You know what I bet we're out of is canola seeds. Yep, we are out of canola seeds, folks. Nobody panic. I'm prepared for this. To do automate farming, apparently. Where's my canola set up? Happens now and then, because the canola seeds you don't need like a ton of, but you do want a decent amount of. But yeah, I really need to get around to automating farming. I'll have to look into uh, industrial four going and whatnot. So then we can do this, this, and this. And that should satisfy whoever's missing seeds. Cool. There we go. Canola seeds are back on the menu, folks. All right, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is take that sulfuric naphtha that I got here, the 10 buckets, but we need 12, so we need to wait for two more buckets, but that should start showing up soon uh, now that we put our canola seeds back. So back in a minute, once this thing starts running again, which he might be really soon. All right, oil's back up and running. Sulfuric naphtha is about to hit 12,000. Um, there we go. Boom. And look at that, cool. So we got 12 buckets of naphtha, which is cool, all right? Um, and then let's do, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna adjacent this dude. 
Is that how I want to do it? So epoxy resin comes from this naphtha that we have, epichlorohydrin, which we are getting there. Yeah, we have, right? Uh, hooked up to a provider pipe. Cool. Um, so do I want to eject that right into it? Maybe, 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 we'll see. Um, or what we could do is we could pipe the naphtha out the front and filter it in. That might be a smart move. Gonna need more pipes then. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, maybe you get ejected into the right here. I want to make sure that I want to make sure that whatever we're doing, the epoxy resin has enough sides right to access it. So I think epoxy resin should go here. Um, so this should receive our naphtha. And what we'll do is we'll give it the nitrogen dioxide from the right side. We'll insert with a pipe, the epichlorohydrin in the top. I like that plan. I like that plan. So then you're gonna go like this with this and that'll be cool, right? So there's your naphtha, right? Um, and then we will insert fluid supplier. Did I use all my suppliers already? I guess I did. Sounds like something I would do. Man, here I didn't think I would need that many suppliers, and I, you know, still needed that many suppliers. Can you make six of those for me? That would be super cool. Who's stuck? Who is stuck this time? I actually don't know who's stuck. Things get stuck sometimes, and it's just, it's just the way of the world. What we could try is another break replace of you. Yep, so see how everything started flowing the moment I broke and replaced him? That indicates to me that this bridge pipe was stuck. And like I said, that's a, it's a thing that you're gonna run into every now and then. It just happens. And it's, it's just the way it is. See? We were waiting on blocks of iron for something. For what? I don't know. Yeah, see all the things that like start crafting now because I broke and replaced that pipe? Something in that bridge mod gets that pipe stuck. And I haven't quite been able to figure out a workaround. Um, but that's okay. We will continue working through it and just me behind the scenes trying to keep things organized and entertaining. Challenging. So did I get a supplier pipe yet? If I have one, I can get back to work. If not, then what we'll do is we'll hold off on that bit. Yeah, let's hold off on that bit and instead get our, um, this dude down, right? Now you're going to wind up outputting out the left and you're gonna be nitrogen dioxide, which is easy, it's nitrogen and oxygen with a program circuit. So nitrogen and oxygen with a program circuit. Um, I know the episode's running a little long here, but that's okay because we're almost done. So I'm going to let this episode be a little bit of a long one. I figured you guys wouldn't mind. All right, and I believe that needs to be a program circuit of one for nitrogen dioxide. Yes, configuration one. So nitrogen and oxygen. Uh, now, give me a second to wait for this stuff. All right, so uh, then what we want is we're going to have a supplier... Let's put the supplier here, here, and here, and we will put a provider. Actually, those were all providers, weren't they? Yep, provider, provider. We want suppliers here, here, and here. And then you're going to be a provider pipe there. Okay, so you're gonna keep in stock the epichlorohydrin. about 2,000 does that sound cool how much do you need 144 so 2,000 should be more than enough right uh, so that's cool and we should have the epichlorohydrin around here somewhere yes yeah, so we got 3,000 so you should have no problem providing it provider pipe do your thing thank you epichlorohydrin naphtha and then you're going to be uh, nitrogen and oxygen Nitrogen, right, uh, partial yes, and hydrogen, partial yes. 
cool. Okay. No, wait, nitrogen and oxygen. Hang on. Hang on. So you can tell it's definitely the end of the episode because Dyer is derping it up. Nitrogen and oxygen. I'll find a way to avoid you one way or another, hydrogen. Actually, are you empty enough still? Nah, you're pretty full. All right, how you doing? Nitrogen and oxygen. With circuit one, beautiful. Auto eject fluids, yes, to this side. So then you should dump into here. And we've got epoxy resin. Look at it go. How beautiful is that, folks? That was a lot of work. Did you guys notice how much work that was? I hope you recognize. I hope you recognize the work. Let's see, can one of you guys, oh good, an electrolyzer for some reason can accept hydrogen, that's cool. And that clears that out, awesome, awesome. All right, so now we've got epoxy resin ready to use to make epoxy resin sheets. That was a lot. Wrapping up point for the episode for sure, that will point sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will come back next episode. We will get epoxy resin sheets and we will get nano CPUs, which will give us access to nano processors and epoxy circuit boards. And with those three things all set up and ready to roll, we can get into draconic cores and we have to look at what this is, uh, more nether stars and lots of liquid starlight and diamond lattices and infused diamond and dimensional shards. Lots of crafting to come. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series because I, like I said, definitely am. Uh, it's a lot. There's a lot to do. But hopefully I am making it entertaining for y'all and you guys are actually enjoying it. But please leave me feedback in the comments and tell me how, how you're feeling. Yeah, Dyer, this is a great series versus eh, not so much. Hopefully it's the yeah, great one. All right, guys. Take it easy.